Hello, my name is Wade Nemer, and this is Rotary Serving Our Community. With us today, we have a special guest. Her name is Harriet Clune. She's from the Rotary Club of Ventura East. Uh, welcome, Harriet. Well, thank you, Wade. And thanks for joining us, by the way. Delighted. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I uh, was born and raised in Los Angeles okay. and um, grew up in uh, L.A. and moved to Ventura in the 80s. Okay. And did you have a profession? Uh, I, I am a real estate broker. Okay. Oh, real estate mm -hmm. broker. And I manage for Coldwell Banker and John Douglas Company. Great, great. Mm -hmm. Pretty good-sized firms then. Yes. <laughs> Those yes, are actually yes. very big. Yeah. And um, what got you involved with Rotary? You know, I was at a cocktail party. <laughs> I ran into Jan Lindsay, who okay. is the past district governor, right, right. and he talked to me about Rotary and said it's a great way to do good in the world and to go in, in your community, and I, he invited me to a meeting, and I went. Okay, good, good. And um, at that time, did you know anybody else in that club as you joined it, or were they all new no, people to new you? new people. Okay. Lots okay. of good friends now. And you are now currently president of that club, so That's right. how did you get involved, or, I would say, or engaged in such a higher level at the uh, club? That's a good question. <laughs> uh, they asked me, and I thought, and, you know, I'm retired now. I'm not having to j uh, juggle okay. a job. So I said yes. Okay. And, and I'm enjoying it. It's been a wonderful experience. Good. And how long have you been in Rotary? About, I think it's 17 years now. 17 years. Mm -hmm. Wow. So it's been a while. I think you beat me by a year there. Did you really? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. What, uh, was there a time or a moment when you realized what Rotary actually was about, that Rotary moment, something that you experienced that really hooked uh, you? That's a good question. I, I was looking for a, a vehicle for doing community service, uh, which is why I joined in the first place. I think probably my moment was when we went down to see our project in Nicaragua. Mm -hmm. I have always um, been nervous about going to third world countries. And I was nervous, <laughs> and we went down, and uh, it was, it was a, a, an education to see how the people were living. But the project that we had started there and had, I think it's been 25 years now, they've been working down there, it was wonderful. And the people were wonderful, um, and the, uh, the, the health clinic, we paid for a nurse right. uh, to help the women the, and their babies. Uh, and that said, okay, you're in the right place. This is a great project, and um, it just felt good. It just felt really good to see what had been done. Pretty amazing. And that's uh, with Jan Lindsay's that group, right? Go Care. Go Care, yes. Yeah, that is an excellent project. It is. You guys are very fortunate mm -hmm. as a club mm -hmm. to be able to participate at mm -hmm. that level. That's mm -hmm. actually a yeah. renowned international. So it's, it's we a have a, a, an international grant. We're going into the third year of it now uh, for that project. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, and it has improved. We just went back a, a few months ago. So that was my second trip down there. And it was amazing what they've accomplished. And you go there, spend about a week there? A week. And uh, do you rough it? How are the accommodations there? The accommodations are nice. We oh, had a, 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 a couple of nice hotels. And okay. uh, uh, they were very, um, very nice. Okay, good. That is uh, one of the challenges, I would say, or un unknowns of mm -hmm. uh, traveling to do developed country work. That's true. <laughs> you have That's no idea true. what you're going to get. That's true. The food is really good, too. Oh, is that right? I guess I'm going to have to go there yeah. then. You brought with us uh, today a project, a special mm -hmm. project, one mm -hmm. that you did because of the disasters of the Thomas Fire right. and so many of the areas that were affected around you, specifically uh, yes. in the Ventura area. Mm -hmm. Tell us uh, a little bit about this, and we'll jump into the first picture, actually. You can uh, okay. use the map to give us a All little right. detailed description of it. Well, I got the map online because I was curious as to how extensive the fire had been. It came as close as I ever want to see a fire to my house, uh, but we live on the flatland, so okay. it was mainly in the hills. Right. Started in Santa, Bar Santa Paula, came roaring through Ventura. Several hundred homes were destroyed mm -hmm. in the hillsides. Um, and we had been charged by our Rotary International president to plant a tree for every Rotarian mm -hmm. this year. A um, million point two trees, that's a lot of trees. Yeah. And we'd been trying to figure out where we would plant. So after the fires, obviously, there were a lot of trees being needed to replace those burned. The land, Ventura Land Trust came to our meeting and spoke. Just a wonderful program. And we got all inspired. I grabbed her before she left and said, 
we need to plant trees. <laughs> so uh, that's that's how we got involved. So that was a partnership. That's what created that that's partnership. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, also in your club, there were a number of members that you had that lost their homes in that fire. Yes, we actually had six members, wow. uh, about 10% wow. of our club. Wow. Uh, totally gone, everything. Mm. It was, uh, it's heartbreaking. It's it, just heartbreaking. It, it really is. And that was a tough time. Yeah. And so they were mostly in the hills then, because I noticed that most of the devastation yes. was up above the actual downtown area itself. Right. There were a few homes lost below Foothill. Foothill Road runs along the foothills. Mm -hmm. And uh, there were several homes lost below that, but they kept it to right there by the road. It, it didn't go down into the college or anywhere down mm -hmm. there. And like Santa Barbara, it actually went all the way up to the top of the mountain, too. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah that whole yeah. mountain was oh, white boy. with ash. I, I do remember that. Mm -hmm. You brought another picture with you. Uh, it shows a group. This is your actual mm -hmm. planting project, one mm -hmm. that you identified and located. Right. So tell this us a little about that. This is a, a most of the group. Uh, okay. We didn't catch everybody at once, so maybe a dozen left before we got the picture. But it, okay. is, uh, it is most of the group. It consisted of the Ventura East Club, uh, and we also incorporated the Ventura South Club and the Ventura Rotaractors. Okay. And so we had a, a big group. Yeah, so a total of uh, three clubs then. Three clubs. Three clubs mm -hmm. represented. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very. And Rotaract, tell us a little bit about them. Did you recruit them in to assist you? Uh, <laughs> they volunteered, looking for the young, actually. The young volunteers? <laughs> we have a lot of older members, so we needed uh, hole diggers. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, good. So they, uh, they were very uh, active, and um, our, one of our members, Joe Stroman, his daughter is the president of oh, the Rotaract Club, uh, Olivia. So she volunteered, and they came out in force, and uh, they dug a lot of holes and planted a lot of trees. <laughs> that is good. So you have, a, I'd say, an ongoing probably relationship working with them yes. consistently. Yes, off and on we do. We uh, support their build in, um, in Mexico. They right. build a house every year right. uh, in one, one weekend. <laughs> so uh, we support that, and, and they uh, come to our meetings from time to time. Very good. Next picture you have, and by the way, it looks like uh, it, was, it was a little bit wet out there. <laughs> Looks like you guys are experiencing a bit of rain. Yes, it, it was raining. <laughs> it wasn't pouring, but it was raining. And uh, we thought about uh, canceling it yeah. because of the rain. But then we decided, why? Just go, we, we're not going to melt. Uh, <laughs> I thought, you know, wicked witch that I am, uh, maybe I might. <laughs> but, uh, but nobody melted. And we all got wet and a little muddy. And okay. that was fun. And nobody got sick. Nobody got sick. Okay, not, that, to, not that I know. Okay, that's good. That is very good. Um, so the first picture, do you know any of the people in the picture? Did you want to? The, the large picture? Yeah, no, exactly. Oh, no, number three? Number three. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, I, I believe the lady on the left is Adrienne Stevens from the Land Trust. Okay. And I, is that Sandy in the middle? Could be. Could be. It's hard to uh, tell. And, they're they're all kind of hiding and underneath then there's their me. rain gear. And I have a, a, okay. We have a bucket of mul buckets of mulch. After okay. the trees were planted, we mulched oh, nice. okay. around the trees. Now, how many trees did you actually plant? 135. 135. Were they, they were, all the same or different varieties? They were all California live oak. Oh, very nice. And they okay. were about 18-inch seedlings. Mm -hmm. And they came in a tube about that long, right. so they had a pretty good long stru root stru structure. Right, right. And so... Uh, some of the some of some of the members went out and got three people, one dug, one planted, and one mulch. Oh, that's a good system. So we had a system. <laughs> that is good. And the plants, where did they come from? Did you have to purchase those, or was it donated? We purchased or? them. Uh, the Rotarians in in our club. I'm not sure what the South Club did, but everybody paid for uh, okay. the trees. Some uh, purchased two trees. Okay. Uh, and then we ordered them through the land trust. Okay. Uh, one thing good about that, then, at least, you know, they're indigenous trees rather than that's something right. that's cultivated. And they only wanted uh, California natives right, or right. Mediterranean natives. That makes sense. Yeah. That works well. So mm -hmm. the next picture you have, number uh, number four there, uh, looks like another group getting ready to plant mm -hmm. or that has completed their task. Yes, that's Chris Hansen, who's a member of our club. And I think that also is Saddle Edelblue and Sandy mm -hmm. Schwartz. Oh, very nice. Yeah, so. Okay. So you had all the dignitaries out there. With uh, Sally being the a past more, governor the and yeah. uh, Sandy <laughs> yeah. being an incomer. Yeah, yeah. good. Good well, for you. Well, we're trying to recruit Sally to come back to our club now that she's back in Ventura. Nice. That's a good good idea. Yeah. And then the next picture you have uh, looks like a little break time there. 
Uh, this was after. <laughs> was it after? <laughs> we okay. were all sopping wet and uh, muddy, <laughs> and so we uh, trekked over to a brewery and had a, a cold one okay. <laughs> with, a rot uh, with a rotor actor. <laughs> okay, as opposed to getting a hot one with a cup yeah. of coffee or something. I guess it wasn't <laughs> it's, that it's bad. It's warming any way you look at it. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Good point. <laughs> Very good point. Uh, the next picture we have um, is a picture It looks like a... Two people getting ready yes, to plant Yes, this there. is uh, Amber Stevens, uh, who runs uh, uh, the local YMCA. She's mm -hmm. a member of our club. And okay. um, Rich Stewart, who's also a member of our club and a past president. It looks like that is uh, definitely one of the uh, affected burn areas there. You can yeah. see the... Uh, they, some of the greens had come back. Mm. Uh, some of the grasses were coming back. Some of the oak trees, uh, even the little ones that had been planted, um, were recovering. Okay. They said they lost originally uh, about 1,000 trees. But it turned out about 250 of those trees were greening up, oh, so that was good. that was good news. That is very good. And this was probably about uh, maybe two, three months after the. Actual... This was March 10. Okay. So, so that was. Yeah, yeah, that would have been. Mm -hmm. Very good. Next picture you have is a picture of a uh, four. Doing a. Yes, it's it's. It looks like the bucket brigade there. It's the same bucket brigade, <laughs> only with one additional person yeah. in it. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. And um, now the mulch, was that actually furnished to you also? Was that, that was furnished. Uh, they furnished gloves. They furnished shovels. Okay. They furnished, uh, they brought all, they had all of the trees delivered. We just hauled the trees from, you know, to spots, from spot to so spot. So this is with the Ventura Land Trust? Ventura Land the Trust, yes. Okay. They were formerly the Hillside Conservancy, and oh, they okay. recently changed okay. their name to the Ventura Land Trust. Nice. So now were they looking for you as far as, far as partnerships, or was it something you offered to them? Uh, we offered it because we okay. had invited them to speak uh, because we like to know what's going on in the community. Okay. And uh, that was when we uh, made the connection and uh, went ahead. They, it, they worked on the Big Rock area. It's near Foster okay. Park along the Ventura River. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it had been, uh, it belongs to the trust. And they are upkeeping that and uh, in addition, an additional portion of land along the river they're managing for someone else. That's good. That is very good. Um, mm -hmm. We've seen issues where part of it is actually part of the national forest and mm -hmm. you can't even go in there to plant. You need right. permits, special permits. Exactly. They won't even let volunteers exactly. plant most of those. So this is yeah. a good partnership yeah. that you've had. Well, it was there. great because we had checked with the national forest and found out just exactly that. <laughs> so we were true. really worrying about where we were going to be able to plant. So mm -hmm. this worked out beautifully this for is. us. That's a, that's a great one there. Then the next picture you have is... a. Uh, Somebody planting there. An unknown planter. Okay, okay, good enough. And then the uh, next one is a, a group picture here. It looks like you're mm -hmm. kind of winding it down there. Yeah, they're just kind of, it's toward the end, just before we all grouped up for the photo. Okay, actually that unknown planter looks like it may be a Sandy Schwartz. <laughs> yes, that could be. <laughs> Peeking out from underneath <laughs> the, uh, the coat there. <laughs> Very good. So the, this one here is actually at the site itself of the yes. planting area then? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's all along the bank of the river. There's a, a bike, bike path that runs all along the river. It actually goes all the way to Ojai. Right. And so um, there are Foster Park, and then there's the Big Rock area, and then the other area that they're working on. So now, does the Land Conservancy take care of that whole strip then? All yes. the way through? Not all the way. Okay. Uh, just that portion from that Foster Park there. and that, and that okay. additional one. Okay. That is good. And the, the park, did you do any planting actually in Foster Park itself? No. Or? Okay, no. Well, more or less along the We only the creek did area. it on the land trust land. Okay, okay, good. No. And then the uh, last picture we have here is somebody actually digging a hole trying to. Oh, that's Jeff Berg, our auditor controller for the oh, county. He's oh, out there digging one. holes. <laughs> that is a good one. Oh, yes. that's a great picture there. Yeah, it is. So a good you uh, attracted quite a few. Uh, Important people then. <laughs> well, he's a member of our club, so <laughs> he was under duress. You oh, have yeah, to come out yeah, and work. Yeah, <laughs> definitely so. No, no, he'd so. have to do that. So um, tell us a little bit about the, the project itself. What do you think the uh, successes were and some lessons learned from it? You know, one of the lessons we all learned was we were a little concerned about the rain, but we found that even as adults, at least more or less adults, <laughs> uh, we had a great time. We got in the mud and we got dirty and we worked hard and uh, we made new friends and because there was a combined three clubs. Very true. And we, yeah. had, uh, we had a great time. We really enjoyed it and the trees are so important. True. Uh, yeah. The land trust has been, uh, and as I, I should tell you, this is just an adjunct for the whole project, the fire burned a lot of brush, mm -hmm. which was good. 
It also burned arundel, which is a bamboo type of plant, right, as you know, right. uh, that grows so thick that the animals can't get down to the water in the river. So they've been taking that out. Well, thanks to the fire, there was a positive end of it. <laughs> it burned out a lot of that, so okay. it made it a lot easier to clear out. And maintain now. You and actually maintain, have access, which you couldn't do before. And replace it That's with good. the native plants. That's good. So. Now with the land trust, now that you started out with just a program for your right. club, have you seen the, the future in a partnership with them or working uh, with them? Actually, uh, you know, we have a, a, a grant of some additional monies coming in for more trees. And so we are also <coughs> going to cooperate with the land trust for that, as well as the Ventura Botanical Gardens. That's right, because so, the Botanical Gardens uh -huh, also got yeah. burned. Yeah. They lost a lot of um, the Chilean garden. They had started that. Um, but the good news is a lot of it is coming back. Well, that is good. So we're going to uh, partner with both of those for the additional funds in our area. Okay. Um, now we also are looking at a planting, uh, a district-wide planting, mm -hmm. so you'll be involved with that one. Yes. I understand you'll be leading, leading the yeah. charge in the Ventura area. In Ventura, and then the two presidents in Ohio are planting in Ohio with their right. Ohio vet land trust. Right. And I think we have Santa Barbara actually working mm -hmm. in Montecito, Santa Barbara right. area, and right. Carpinteria actually has uh -huh. one too. Good. So the uh, burn area itself, the effects, that I would say, of, of your club, it must have mm -hmm. impacted you quite, quite a bit with six members losing houses yes. and having a... Actually, the fire was right there by your clubhouse also. It was. Amazingly, that the facility did not burn. Mm -hmm. And there is a caretaker there who's been there for years and years and years, and he was out there fighting the fire. Wow. It burned right down to the parking lot. All wow. of their landscaping wow. is gone. Hmm. Um, so they're they're looking at replanting as sure, well. Sure, sure. Have you taken a look at maybe assisting them with that part of it? We've talked about it. Okay, uh, okay. They uh, yeah. they've got a plan. Uh, they're still working on the plan as to what they're going to do, and then I'm okay. sure that the club will help. Maybe even plant <laughs> some more. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, we had Bruce uh, McGee on yes. the show a while ago, and he was talking about the. Um, Rotary Plaza that was actually portion oh, yes. or part in conjunction with the, mm -hmm. the Botanical Gardens. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about that. How is that going to be affected with the with the fire and had that helped you out at all? You know, the we had them come and speak on um, uh, Joe uh, Cahill who is in charge of the gardens. Mm -hmm. uh, he's got a degrees in botany and all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. uh, and he showed us a design now for the, the build out of the Rotary Mm -hmm. site. Mm -hmm. It's right where all the roads and trails come together. So it's a real central location. They'll right. be able to, we'll be able to have meetings there uh, and set up. The, the two large trees that are on the site right. got slightly burned, but they're coming oh, back just okay. fine. Okay, so they actually survived it. I was kind of right. curious about yeah. that because that was part yeah. of the setting, by the yeah. way. Was, yeah. Was that? Uh, oh, wow. And so he showed where the, there's going to be a wall all around. It's sort of um, looks straight down the canyon out to the ocean mm -hmm. and the islands. It's oh, a beautiful it's, view. It's a spectacular it's, view. It's spectacular. It, it really is. <laughs> and that has been all three clubs in Ventura, the Ventura Club, the East Club, and the South Club, all donated funds for that project. So it's coming right along. Great, great. Now how about the, um, I heard stories, I think actually from you, about as that fire burned the botanical gardens area, mm -hmm. went up the hill, that it actually mm -hmm. exposed some Features you didn't yes. even know about or had nobody yeah. knew and seen. Those so hillsides were, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead and tell us about the that. The hillsides were so um, covered with brush that after the brush burned away, it was discovered that those hillsides up above City Hall, where the gardens are located now, uh, were at one time in the Mission era, they believe, terraced for gardening. Hmm. And so they raised trees and vegetables up there for the mission area. Then they also found a, um, a rock-covered area that must have been, they believe, a sluice area to get water up oh. to an orchard that was up there. <laughs> so now that is going to be incorporated into the gardens. Uh, but it was amazing <laughs> that it was there all along and no one knew because of the heavy brush. Very true. <laughs> so it should look, it, it's going to be a great project when it's all done. That will be. You know. Actually, that adds to yeah. the botanical yeah. garden yeah. itself. Yeah. Some features that go mm -hmm. back a right. couple hundred years. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, outstanding. Yeah. Have um, you talked to the botanical gardens people about replanting there? Are there specific plants that they have mm -hmm. uh, requested that this would give you opportunity mm -hmm. to plant? 
they are still getting their list together. I told them how much money that we had, we had to spend. And uh, I think we've got 25 uh, Chilean acacia trees that will be going into the Chilean part. Mm -hmm. There are uh, four or five biomes that will be represented from Chile and from South Africa okay. and from Australia. There will be a California area and a Mediterranean. Okay. Um, so right now they're working on the Chilean gardens. Okay. Uh, quite a bit of that burned, but is coming back. We're doing those acacias. There are, uh, they're looking for some redwood trees. Hmm. So we're going okay. to get those. We know we're going to do those. Um, there are, uh, there's a pine, uh, there's a, uh, um, I had a list. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Uh, so that's yes, they're, they're give, telling us what they need and, okay. and that we're up to the point that we have the money, we're going to provide those. Very nice, well, that'll help a lot. So the plan for the botanical gardens then mm -hmm. will be, I, I would say, in sections and as you go up the hill. Exactly. So. Okay. Exactly. And then the native plants, where would they occur? Actually in the first part of the walkway? The native, the native portion, I'm not certain exactly without looking at the map where it will be, but it will have California natives in okay. it. Uh, the, and some of the sagebrush and such that grows naturally on mm -hmm. our hillsides. The other areas will be, um, they all come onto the tr trails, but I can't tell you exactly where. Okay. The trails are all being recovered now because some of the things burned. Mm. But a lot of the sites that were built out were all done with rock or marble or granite, so they, they survived nicely. They survived. Oh, that's good. The terraced area, then, uh, have they readjusted the plans to include yours? Or They're talking to, about doing that, but I, I haven't seen anything yet. Okay. Okay. It looks like our rotary site should be through planning in the next couple of weeks. Wow. And they're okay. expecting to do some groundbreaking in the next few months. Okay. So rotary specific, you'll be taking the upper part, the plaza portion of that one. Right. And then just probably just blending that into the botanical mm -hmm. garden portion. It is actually in the botanical garden. Right. So uh, I don't know which garden it will be adjacent to. Okay. So and those are the plantings that will go in there. Okay. Um, as far as uh, affected by the fire, Getting back to that portion of it, mm -hmm. how was your club, or, or was your club, able to assist those people that had been that suffered the damage? Yes, we we did a variety of things. We collected money and and got food for the food bank, which was distributing it. Um, a couple of our um, members came across a um, a group that was collecting old clothing and uh, fresh vegetables and fruit oh, nice. and gave us a, gave me a call and and so we authorized monies and they went and bought all sorts of fresh fruit and vegetables and they went into the packages to hand out from people that were affected so many homes were lost but yeah. there was one very large apartment building that was totally burned to the ground and right. those people were just devastated because yeah. everything they had was gone. Right, right. That was a pretty big one. That's that was above on Kellerama? It that, was up that, above by Kellerama. Yeah, yes. I uh -huh. did see that one. Uh, yeah. I had a friend that was living up there. But yeah. It had a beautiful view. <laughs> it does have a beautiful, <laughs> probably has a better view now, but you've got to build it back up, unfortunately. <laughs> and your members, the, the six, uh, have they kind of settled into mm -hmm. uh, more or less a normal life then? Have stayed in Ventura yeah. or have they moved on? Well, one, one uh, lady lost her husband soon after the mm. fire, and she's right now rent, renting a home in Camarillo. Okay. And I think she's undecided about whether or not to rebuild. Mm -hmm. uh, another couple, Bruce McGee, mm -hmm. they're rebuilding their home. They right. have their plans almost complete, just waiting for the city mm. to get everything put together. Um, another lady is living with her um, daughter. Okay. I don't know what her future plans are, but she will not be rebuilding. Mm -hmm. And um, the other couple have a, um, a large area. It was a home where he grew up. Oh. Uh, so it belonged to the family. Wow. And they're, they're, they're rebuilding. That's good. So, that is good. So most of them are staying. It's, Ventura is a lovely place to, to it, live. It's a beautiful area. A beautiful, and on that hill, yeah. especially where they yeah. lost themselves, yeah. beautiful uh -huh. views. Uh -huh. I mean, yes. you can see all the way to Santa Barbara from oh, up yeah. down the hill. My dad was born in Ventura. Oh, he was. So, and my mom in the San Fernando Valley. So, okay. uh, we've been a, been around the area for a long time. That's true. That is true. We had um, a section on the same hill there where um, we had two of the three clients we had, and they lived right next door to each other. Actually, oh. 
two of them burned. Oh. But what was unique about it, and they talked about it, they said the first fire came through and hit the house on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And then 12 hours, 16 hours later, the oh fire went backwards and hit the house above them. But yeah. the one house in the middle stayed intact. Amazing. Isn't that weird? Yeah, but that's just the way yeah. the fire was. If you look at the devastation, there's mm -hmm. spots. Just Even spots. one house right. maybe it burned in the middle of four or five yeah. that didn't get touched. About three or weeks maybe after they opened up the hillsides, uh, we drove up to see. And it was just, it, it, it liked, looked like a moonscape. It was, yeah. it was just, I was that's crying. True. It was horrible. It was just horrible. Well, one thing that was good, very fortunate, were the uh, lives lost being at right. one. Yes. You look at the, the devastation that occurred. Mm -hmm. I mean, that could have been so much yes. worse. Yeah. Yeah. It could have. Yeah. And yeah. The, part, of the, part of the issue uh, in, on the hillside, they couldn't pump the water up there. Yeah, and the, that is the, true. Uh, the trucks yeah. were out of water, and um, it was a mess. Wow. wow. It was, it was a, a tough, and it, it isn't over yet. I mean, people are still trying to recover from just the devastation. True. Not even us who didn't lose our homes uh, you know we're up there digging out dirt and uh, collecting trash that is still left right. and cleaning up around the cross we went up our club went oh. up one day and, and did that uh, because all the bottles and cans now you could see them because the <laughs> they're exposed now. yeah only so, things that didn't burn I know yeah, okay. <laughs> that is true <laughs> Now, have you uh, had any plans of moving into certain areas like that, maybe uh, adopting like mm -hmm. the cross area mm -hmm. for replanting? Or I think, think you know, it? what we've been trying to do is there have been little pop-up um, opportunities. And uh, the cross was one. Several of our members went up and worked uh, that day hauling rocks out and broken glass and, and weeds and what have you. Uh, we're going to be working in the gardens, of course, mm -hmm. uh, because many of our members uh, belong to the gardens, and we're all interested in seeing that happen. Um, we're still collecting food and monies toward the food bank because people are still in need. Um, lots of clothing. Uh, we, one yeah. of our members' wives belongs to the Quilting Guild, and they made a quilt for every family who lost a home. Hmm. Uh, hundreds of quilts. They were beautiful. It is. So. Well, one thing that just came to mind, uh, we've got some, some things that, you know, for example, Roxanne, when she passed away, I've got mm -hmm. a lot of clothes. Maybe we could help out with that. Oh, that would too. be, yes. Yeah, be nice. I'm sure that would we'll be good. We'll talk to you about yeah. that. Okay. Well, Harry, thank you very much for joining us. A uh, fascinating project. Uh, I really enjoyed hearing about it and want to get involved. So keep us in touch on that one. We <laughs> certainly will. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank for, you. For and the with that, everybody, thank you. And with that, everybody, uh, thank you very much for joining us. Take a look at the disaster burn areas and see where you can actually give a hand with. We'll see you later and next time. Thanks.